to be here finishing off Women's History Month here at Scientista at a Women in STEM conference. <laughs> because if I wasn't here, I would be at home scrolling through Twitter and getting depressed at learning things like that only 31% of the NIH funding goes to women. Or that 43% of new mothers in STEM leave. That is two out of five potential mothers in this room leaving. And I don't want that, not just because of all that knowledge and research that we would lose, but that would leave us with the Jordan Petersons of the world. If you don't know who that guy is, you are so lucky. Um, <laughs> he's the psychologist who basically has said that mass shootings happen because women won't date guys. Yeah, they, like, he honestly is like, women need to pair up with men because if they don't get to have sex, they get violent. I mean, I, I really do not want that person to be my lab partner whatsoever. <laughs> and you know, it's also concerning to me as a young academic. I mean, I'm not pregnant. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here right now. <laughs> but why does my career have to start at the same time society's telling me, you need to have a baby, you need to have a baby. I'm pretty sure my male colleagues do not worry about this nearly as much as I should. I mean, and kind of, part of it is my job. I am an anthropologist. I study humans, particularly our behavior, our health, and our reproduction. And this is my first year as a PhD student. And this semester, I became a teaching assistant for the very first time. I am a TA for human population biology. Does anyone know what that means? Honestly, like, does anyone, do you, you, you don't know what that means? I didn't either. <laughs> I mean, it sounds more like an AI generated class name instead of one <laughs> came up by a human being. It turns out that it's an opportunity for white adults to learn that it's okay to be different. Because after all, I am an upper state New York in Albany. So <laughs> someone has to tell these kids. So being a TA means you have to be this knowledgeable professional. And in all honesty, I am neither of those things. <laughs> when it comes to being knowing the class material, my friend said just be 15 minutes ahead of the students. I can't do that. I've done it. But at the same time, I'm terrified they're gonna fail their midterms because of me. Like every time they pick their hands up, I'm hoping that the professor answers them instead of me. Because what if I give them the wrong answer and then it comes back and they know it's my fault that they put that down. And when it comes to being professional, that's something I really struggle at. I mean, planning my outfits for this conference was really, really stressful. I would much rather be in my PJs, anyone else? Yeah, 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 thank you. I mean, I just love to be comfy, let myself go. Better yet, don't have to wear a bra. Breathe <laughs> <laughs> the nipple! Yeah. Yes! Someone please get HR on board of that, please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially as a woman of color, it's even harder being in academia because you have to do so many things to get your career ahead, such as being professional. And I mean, I won't do any of my comedy shows in Albany because the longer the, my department thinks I'm serious and mature, the better it is for me. I mean, academia, especially STEM, can be so serious. It's like the most anal retentive thing sometimes because the male chauvinist running it thinks science is so pure and rational, it doesn't need movements like feminism. I mean, it was just the other week that CERN physicist, Alexander Stromo, said that there's not many women in physics because women just don't like physics. Really, I mean, I can't believe I found someone in the world who is worse at statistics than me. <laughs> <laughs> Does he not realize that correlation and causation are not the same thing? Obviously not. <laughs> someone needs to tell him that, okay? I mean, how, I mean, how does he have a PhD when he doesn't even know basic stats? And as an anthropologist, it can be particularly hard to be a feminist because I study humans. It's so hard 
not to fall for naturalistic fallacies, that because something has evolved one way, it's good, it's great, and it's the way it should be. For instance, breasts. Mammals are mammals because we have mammary glands. They develop so we can feed our young. That's their purpose. And with humans, that's not the only purpose. Think about it. Since puberty, we have to lug these around day in and day out. Think about your pet dogs, horses, whatever. They only have breasts when they're lactating, whereas we have to carry them around day in and day out. Why? To show men our reproductive value. But just because we evolved breasts to be looked at doesn't mean guys get to look at them all the time. Face here, people. Face here. I mean, when you think about it, sexual selection is a feminist theory that's just been appropriated by misogynists. Because when males have to compete for one another, with one another for mates, things get bigger, such as antlers and penises. I have dirtied my internet search history, so trust me on the latter one, you, do, you, do, you don't want to know what I have seen. <laughs> and then it's annoying because so much of my field focuses on the reproduction of women. Things about like the grandmother hypothesis which is a lot of bullshit, okay? What about the grandfathers? Are all these men just dead? Because, I mean, I'm saying, at a certain age, men aren't have a low reproductive value just like women. Hit your mid-40s men, your sperm, and your penis will stop working, I'm just saying. Like, your reproductive value hits rock bottom, you just don't want to acknowledge it. You know what, maybe that's why some men don't want women in STEM. They're insecure about their abilities, and they know that if we were there, we would put them in their place. But we can't let them win. We don't want a world full of Jordan Petersons. So stay in, fight the good fight, get our space suits made so we can walk the walk. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Yeah. 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 Yeah.